Hi guys, today I'm going to break down how I was lighting this fashion shoot using a Parabolix 40 and the Profoto B10 Plus. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these parabolic umbrellas for a while, ever since I came across the company Parabolix. They make true parabolic umbrellas at a fraction of the price of Broncolor and Breezes designs. From everything that I'd seen online, they were absolutely comparable to their expensive competitors, so I was dying to test it out for myself. And I have to say, I'm extremely impressed with both the quality of light it produces and the overall build quality of the design. For those of you who haven't used parabolic umbrellas before, they basically allow you to spot and flood a light in a similar way that you would with a Fresnel film light. It gives you a great amount of control over your light. You can see from this behind the scenes photo here how I focus the light in on Sonova. The focusing rod is set somewhere in the middle in order to keep the light focused on our model whilst letting the white cove fall to shadow. I had my light set at 45 degrees to the left of Sonova at all times to keep the shots consistent. It was also angled down, again roughly at 45 degrees. In a couple of the closer crops I added a white polyboard for a touch of fill but I really wanted to keep the dramatic shadows cast on the floor for the wider shots. The combination of the Parabolics and the Profoto B10 Plus was a dream to use. The 500 watts you get from the Profoto is more than enough power for most of the studio situations that I find myself in. And the added benefit of it being so lightweight to mount onto the Parabolic is a huge plus. It just makes tweaking things much easier in the studio. This was a fairly brief video, but I hope you found it helpful. I'm not affiliated with Parabolics or Profoto, but I can highly recommend both products. Considering the price point of these Parabolics, I am absolutely blown away by the quality of light they produce and the build quality of them. I'm looking to release some behind the scenes vlogs over the next few months, so let me know if this is something you'd be interested in seeing. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing if you like this type of content. And give me a follow on Instagram if you'd like to see more of what I do behind the scenes.